Good morning, everybody. My name is Patty Davis. I'm with Crooked Tree Creations. This morning, I am making a grave pillow. Um, I'm actually going to make it for my mom. I did a grave pillow uh, a couple of years ago and then reused it last year, believe it or not. I couldn't believe that it was actually still okay. So, um, but instead of reusing it a third year, even though it still looks good, I'm going to go ahead and make another one. And I kind of wanted to show you guys how I do it. I'm having another mimosa. Hey, it's a Sunday morning. We're, uh, we're enjoying ourselves, right? So, I wanted to show you real quick what I am using as the base. Right now, for the base, I am using just, just this swag. swag. I, I believe I got, I got this from, from um, believe, believe it or not, I think I got, I got this at a yard sale. sale. Uh, of an old friend of mine, she um, thought she was going to do some crafts with it and ended up not doing it. So... She, she sold it in yard sale. sale. So, so I got, got this for like 50 cents. cents. It started out looking like this. I fluffed it out to make it look like this. It's 23 inches wide. So it's actually a good size. I'm going to add some more greenery to it, of course, you know that. And um, a few embellishments. Now, if you do not have something like this, like this kind of swag, what you can do, just take garland from Walmart, okay? This is Walmart garland. Um, the stem on these garlands are very thick, so it might be a little bit tough to cut, but cut you know, a foot and a half to, you know, to two feet of this, and you have a great base. And then what I like to use are some of the stems left over from some of, you know, my embellishments. I have this wire here, just bend it in half, it's good and thick, and just stick that into the ground, okay? And you'll be able to, you know, get this to stick into the ground really well so it doesn't fly off when you know during storms whatever like that okay so i am going to go ahead i'm going to throw these over to the side and kind of get started um what i actually i don't know why i was trying to think of what i wanted to use and here i have this it's like a very um sheer ribbon it's like a darker red but with some silver attached to it so i have these roses that i got from joanne fabrics last year that have been flocked and you see that's real pretty red and they're all flocked but i have some silver beads and this is actually the stems that I use these because they're good thick wire, but I have these silver beads that I got several years ago whenever Pet Catans was still in business. So these are going to be my embellishments. I have several things of greenery that, of course, I never know what I'm going to use. I just set everything out in front of me and decide what I'm going to use as I'm going. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, you can see my camera right here. I'm going to switch over to this camera so you can see face down what I am doing. Okay. So let's do this real quick. Okay. So you see, I have this base here, just a nice pine base just fluff it out. It, this is actually a very good swag, believe it or not. It's very thick, has just a, a good thickness to it. I really like that. Um, 
but of course we have to add more to it. I have my glue gun. I was going to try my E6000. I actually ran out. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use my glue gun instead. Um, I still have, if you were watching my live from last week, I still have a lot of uh, this left. So I'm going to use this. I have a little bit of this cedar left. So I'll use some of that. And uh oh, I just now noticed my, <laughs> look at that. My glue gun broke. So I am going to be in a little bit of trouble. So maybe I am going to actually not use my glue gun and we'll try to use what's left of my E6000. I have two tubes of the E6000 and look, we're pretty much at the end of those. But let's hope I can get the lids off. I'm going to try both of those. Yeah, we got the lids off. So I'm going to just do a lot of squeezing to get those out. Okay. So I'm going to cut these branches off of these extra greenery that we have here. And I'm accidentally popping some of this other stuff off. So I will try to get those on. Yes, and I got this greenery from Joanne Fabrics. You can see the bloom on there. So you know that's Joanne Fabrics brand. And let's see, where did those come off? Okay, we got a couple of these where these popped off. Since I have this pl plugged in, I'm going to go ahead and use my glue gun for that. Just because it'll dry a heck of a lot quicker than the E6000 will. Okay. Try not to burn yourself when you do that. Like I just did. Now, what I do and what you can do, whatever greenery you have at hand, use it. You don't have to buy the exact same stuff I have or anything like that. Just use what you have on hand. This is just a little bit of a brighter green, uh, just something to give it, I don't know, a little different texture different color, a little more fullness. I'm going to try to put some on either side. Okay. And of course I have this uh, cardboard down. Just take a cardboard box and put it down so that if any glue would happen to leach out it doesn't get on your table so I'm going to try to do like either side kind of so it's you know really we want it to kind of match without being too matchy matchy but because of course I like to do things where um, it looks like nature and of course, nature is not matchy matchy, but I do want it to kind of, you know, be somewhat even on either side. Like my sister said, who she is my hairdresser. She said, it's kind of like a haircut. You know, you want it to match on each side. You want it to be somewhat even, but if you part your hair on this side or something like that, you know, of course, 
you're not, it's each side's not going to be matchy matchy, but it's going to look right. So that's kind of what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a couple more of these and you can see some more stuff fell off. So it's always good to go around and kind of make sure things are good and secure when you attach everything. And if it's not, just, you know, take a glue gun, take your E6000, your, um, you know, Gorilla Glue, whatever you want to do, and, you know, secure it. I did not do that before I did this, but I will go through after I'm done and make sure it's good and secure because the last thing we want is something we worked hard on to fall apart. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of go through here, kind of, we want it to to mimic each other from side to side and from back to front. Um, really, actually, the back, this is going to be my back, okay? That does not have to match the front. People weren't going to see the back as much. So we really don't need to worry about it as much, but I like to make sure that it's going to look good. So... Yeah, I really don't think I'm going to have enough of this E6000, whether I use both tubes or not. We're at the end of both tubes, so I think we're going to have to uh, go back to that glue gun and just hope and pray that it doesn't uh, burn anything since I don't have my little stand working. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm going to actually use the hot glue. Yeah, that's still, still working. And I'm going to attach this to this guy here. If it'll go on. Yeah, it's not working. Well, then we're not going to worry about it. Okay. So let's try this other piece, tube of the E6000, see if we can get some out of there. Okay. I wanted to put this one kind of in the middle here so that it's sticking up, give it some height. Okay. Yeah, you're looking at it from a different angle than what I'm looking at it from. But it's kind of good that I'm seeing what you're seeing because now I'm I can check for from the middle if it looks okay. So, from above it looks pretty even. So, okay, I'm going to set these aside. I might come back to it later on. Then we have some of this cedar that I really, really like. I really like the cedar. It's a little more flat, so I might put that more towards the bottom. But of course you gotta have it coming around and through and all that. So you can see where I'm cutting it, right where this stem comes down. I'm going to cut right there. So you don't have too much of that stem coming up. Okay. And it's its own branch. So I'll cut this same way. Going up that main stem. Then we have this. I will go ahead and cut that. So like each bush it looks like we can get four stems out of. So I'll go ahead and 
put some of these on again kind of towards the bottom because they're a little flatter it'll just give it some fullness coming out did i just grab the wrong one i think i did okay throw this in here and that glue just kind of sticks to the other pine you know the pine branches so it kind of glues to itself but we want a little bit of height so I am going to put some a couple more things of this cedar which I really don't have a lot of uh, you know what I'm going to cut this here too again I don't have a lot so I kind of want to spread it out as much as I can and so it can be you know again matchy matchy well kind of matchy as matchy as I can get without it looking too matchy so, and again, I'm not going to put too, too much in the back just because, yeah, that's going to be right there up against the headstone. So really nobody's going to see it. Okay. Get that squeezed out and put that over on that side. Okay. So I think that's pretty much all the cedar I have. Now, I think the next thing I'm gonna go with, I have this here that has a lot of the flocking on there and stuff like that. I think it's beautiful. It has a lot of the different um, types of pine going through there. So we're actually not going to be able to be matchy matchy because this is the only one I have of this. But I'm going to just cut stuff off of here. I'm probably going to save that pine cone for something else. Who knows? I might use it. I decide what I do as I go along. So cut each one of these off. But the green is a much brighter green. So I love having that bright green in here because we don't want it to be so dark that you don't even notice it's there. We definitely want to know it's there. And then this last one here. Okay. Set that aside. So let's see, do I have anything that, okay, these two look very similar to each other. So I'll kind of put one on either side. And I think I'm not going to even try this A6000 anymore. I'm just going to go back to my glue gun and hopefully, hopefully it uh, works okay, even though that stand isn't working, but Okay, put that on that side. And this one on this side. Okay. Now, what we have, yeah, we have two of these little things. They remind me of little pom-poms almost. I'll kind of stick them kind of over here. 
Now, somebody asked me, how do I decide how, like where I'm going to put stuff? You know, I, I figure it out as I'm going along. Just where there seems to be a spot. That's what I'm going to, you know, that's where I decide I'm going to put it. If there's a bare spot, I, I try to also figure out what is going to go where in the future um, you know, as, as I'm doing this. Because I know I want to do something with those roses. So I want those roses to be here, but they're probably going to be up above all the rest of this. So I just kind of you know want these to be showing but what I want to be showing the most, I wait until later to put in there, if that makes sense to you. Okay, there's these. One is a little bit bigger than the other, but I think that'll still be fine. Again, we're going to be, we're going to match without being overly matchy. I hope that makes sense to you. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stick this back here. Because this is going to almost be like a background. Again, this is going to be the back here. So this having this stick up a little bit is going to be kind of like a background for when I put the roses on and everything. So... Okay. Kind of like having that stick up a little bit like that. So I do have a different one that's still flocked. It's not as bright green. Um, I don't know if I want to use this or not. I kind of I do like that red, though, up against, let me see what these roses look like, against this red. I think that should work. Um, I don't know how well these will do in the weather, because they're that um, styrofoam. But I definitely do want some more of this different greenery. Mm, you know what? I'm going to set this aside <laughs> because another greenery that I have that I got this year from Joanne Fabrics is some holly. You can barely see. Look at those berries. They're such a dark red. They actually blend in. You don't even notice. But boy, is that good and sparkly. I love the sparkle. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. And we'll see where we are with this. So I'm going to cut all of these off. And then I'm going to cut each branch down. Because these are entirely too long to be using. Okay. Now this one doesn't have any berries at all. I am going to cut this down here. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of stick this so it goes, you can see, so it goes out kind of with this one little pine that's left over here. I want it to accompany that nice and long Need a little more glue. I got a glue stick in my gun. Okay. So, since we had something long on this side, this side, we're going to do something long on this side. 
and this looks like it's about the same size. So cut that off from that bigger stem. Again, we're going to be matchy matchy without being overly matchy. But this is going to kind of come out almost, <clears throat> almost as far as that stem. Again, from stem to stem, it's about 23, almost 24 inches. So this is going to be big enough without being too big that it's going to be overwhelming. You know, you could always do a gray blanket and stuff like that. But, okay, so we have, I'll show you these here. Cut each one down. Again, this stem has, like, comes down to two. There's two here at the top. We don't need both of those. I still want to use this, so I'm going to cut this just above that stem. Maybe. Okay. But I don't need all of this. So I'm going to cut that off. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with these. Kind of get them all cut down before I use them. I think I'm going to cut this up here. So I have these two here. And then there's this one that's all the way down here. Okay. And of course, we're not going to use something that long, so we can cut that off. So from here, just kind of start putting things in where you think they could go. I am going to just these shorter ones, I think I'm going to put towards the front, kind of so it brightens up the front a little bit. And the longer ones, again, we want them to, we want to give this a little bit of more height. So. Stick those in there. That looks really good. This one has some berries on it. I think I'll put that kind of in between those two. Heading up. There. Okay. Put this over towards the left my left. As you're watching this, I don't know if it's your left, my left, <laughs> whatever. And this one's a little bit longer, so I have this one over here. Okay. And we want a good background for those roses. Heck, I may not even use any of that ribbon at all. Because I'm thinking this is beautiful by itself. But then again, you know me, I decide after I'm done, I'll be like, ah. Really, really like the... Uh, if I decide I really like to have that extra color with the ribbon, I will go ahead and do the ribbon. We'll see. But I'll add these and that's it for the holly. Okay, it's getting very full. 
I love how full it's getting. You know what? I got this from that one I did before. Kind of stick that in the middle towards the back there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these roses. Again, these are flocked. They came from Joanne Fabrics. I think that flock look is beautiful. Now, I'm going to cut this right here. Okay. So we have just a little bud, we have a small rose, and then we have a larger rose. I'm going to try to put that larger rose right there in the middle, right here, okay, with the bud and the other one, and the, I guess, the medium flower, we could call it. I'm going to try to do that on either side. Put that right in the middle. Okay. And we have a little more holly over here, so I'm going to put the bud over here just because it has um, a little more, I guess, support from the other, from the holly and the other greenery. I need to add one more. Thing of hot glue to my gun. Now put this over here on this side. And again, everything is kind of gluing to itself, you know, gluing to the other pine, which is glued to the base. So it all works out just fine. These rose stems, I Definitely want to use them. I love the flocking. So I'm just going to cut these off and kind of just stick them in also. So we already have some of these leaves here. So let's just kind of get those kind of down here a little bit. Now that small bud didn't have any rose, any of these uh, leaves with it. So I'm gonna kinda get that kinda close to there. And then do this third one. Uh, let's see, I'll go ahead and put that down here maybe. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, I'm going to put it more further over here. Okay. Okay, I'm really liking this so far. So, do I want to add these smaller leaves? I think I do. Now these, watch this. It just kind of comes out. There's a wire. So you don't even have to cut. So I'm just gonna pull a lot of these out like this. Except for this top one, it doesn't, oh, ooh, it did pull out, okay. So I was wrong. This is something else I got from Joanne Fabrics, but this is just, I want to call it like a little bit of, um, some people call them tings. Some people call it just that little extra oomph because they're, to me, a tiny leaf. 
tiny flower. I like to add towards the end just because they have a little bit of extra, just fills in the space that is needed to be filled in. Okay. And again, this is also kind of flat. So almost want to add them towards the bottom, but I also want to get them around here too, because I really like, I think these are beautiful. Nice and frosty looking. Of course, we love that frost look, right? I'm going to use some berries in here still. Okay. I may actually, you know what? You know how I cut the other ones down? I'm going to cut these down too. I'm going to cut this uh, like right up above this. So that only leaves this one, even though this is kind of stuck to it. Okay. But it only leaves this one here. But to just do like a little thing, just add just a little bit here and there. Kind of, kind of need that. Just a little bit here and there. I like that. I'm going to do that all over with this one. Okay, so we're going to have, oh jeez, these are all kind of stuck to each other, okay, <laughs> but so we're going to have four of these smaller ones, again, just to stick around here and there from each of those branches, which, how many did we get of each of those branches? Five branches. So, kind of like, if you can see it, you really can't see it from the front because you're looking at it down, but putting this up and down right there kind of fills it in between these roses. And I really like that. And again, at this point, we're, you know, we're really not trying to match too, too much. We're just trying to fill it in. Yeah, I'm really liking these, though. I'm going to have some more coming out this way. underneath that holly. I love that sparkle. That sparkle is beautiful. Now, what I have to here. I think I'm going to go ahead and still, even though I may not use that ribbon, I'm going to use the silver just to kind of give it a little more extra bling. Now this is kind of an old, um, I got these several years ago, but oh, and this is not pulling very well. So I'm going to have to cut these. Okay. At least this one I have to cut. I'll try to pull. Yeah. If I can, whatever I can pull, I'm going to pull off so that these stems have a little bit of length to them. Yeah, that one pulled off. 
Okay, these are pulling off now. And then this one, I'm just going to cut. And again, this stem here is what I'm going to use to attach this pillow to the ground because it's a decent thickness. If you don't have something that thick, um, you can buy thicker uh, wire. Use a clothes hanger, seriously. And you can get those to uh, come out, you know, like stick to the ground quite easily. So again, just using the hot glue. If you don't have the hot glue, use your E6000. I actually prefer E6000, but I'm out. So I'm going to stick these silver berries throughout. Again, it's just giving that extra bling that just makes it special. And just and you know what else you can do to for another embellishment since I'm using the silver pine cones if you can find some small pine cones oh shoot even the big ones if you wanted to make that like the, the showpiece paint them silver wouldn't that be gorgeous silver painted pine cones right through here with the with this red bright red i think that would be beautiful so let's stick this here and another one over on the other side and then something else that i have that I got this year from Joanne Fabrics. I should be an affiliate for Joanne Fabrics, don't you think? <laughs> oh, where are they? I think these little ice covered branches would be perfect in here. I think they are beautiful. Look at that and just have these little, now these are what I would call tings. They would really stick out from there. I'm gonna cut these down just a little bit. Okay, yeah, get all this paper off of here. And put some glue on them and just kind of have them sticking out. You can see they kind of stick up pretty high, so it's going to give it a lot of height. Cut this. I got this price tag on here. Yeah, the original price was $14.99. I'm sure I got this at least 25% off, if not 50 but I I got this kind of early in the Christmas season so what I like to do is get stuff when they go on sale um, like right now and after Christmas is when I really love to do my supply shopping for the following year just because that's when everything is like a good discount and you can pass your savings on to your customer um, if you're selling you definitely want to try to pass your savings along simply because you know times are hard for everybody not just for us creators. I apologize. I accidentally 
got you guys moving. But see how I got this right here in the back? It's kind of sticking up. That's, that's a nice backdrop for the gravestone. And I'm going to have a couple more coming out the front. And that's going to be done. Okay. So I got these here. Yeah, it's one of those where these things kind of they pull out like that. So it really works out good that way. Now I'm going to put these kind of right over here, sticking out. And I think I'm done. Again, I am not going to put the bow on here, even though that was kind of my inspiration for the red and the silver. But I think the bow would take away from the roses. Who knows? It might add to it. But I don't think we need it. Sometimes you need a bow, sometimes a bow's a little too much. I'll put this down here. I'm gonna move these up. Okay. And I think I'm done. I think this is looking good. Again, this is going to be the back, so I don't have the fullness coming out that way, but I have this kind of as the backdrop from the front. So I think we're looking pretty good. I'm going to be switching back over so I can talk to you a little bit. Okay, so I want to show you from this angle what it looks like. You know, I think that looks really, really good. Um, Again, I might put a bow right here. Hmm. You know, if I do, again, it's going to attach to the greenery that is attached to the base because it's going to be kind of hard to put it in the base at this point. But I think it looks pretty good. Most people are going to see it from the top anyways. So I think it's I think we're pretty good. Um, I could add a little more red because I do have these frosted red berries. If you can see them, I could put those in there just to add a little more red. Yeah, I think I, I think it needs more red now that I'm looking at it. So um, I'm going to add a little more to it. You know what? I'll switch it back over. I'll let you see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not done. I'm going to add these. There's not a whole lot of these. These were kind of um, left over from a bush that I used before. Again, you know how I said you can put have some silver pine cones. You could have red pine cones to, if you wanted to add more red and you didn't have berries. Um, there's just so much you can do. They have, you know, you could have ribbon. Instead of just a bow, you could kind of string a ribbon through, kind of do a little bit here and just a small bow here, a small bow, you know, in a couple spots. Um, there's a lot we can do. And, oh, yes, I just thought of something which is going to be perfect. I have my cardinals still. A nice bright red cardinal in the front. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. No bow. I'm going to do the bright red cardinal after I do this. See, 
like I said, I think of things as I go along. I just come up with ideas and just go with them. So put this kind of towards the back. Now these, these are a dark enough red that they're kind of hard to see. But it's still kind of work with what we're doing here. Okay, one last one. This one's a nice tall one too. Let's see. Do I want this right here in the middle, right here? Yeah, I think I do. Kind of right there with that middle rose. There we go. Let's see kind of how I did that. And yeah, I have a bright red canary. Let's see. Let me get this. It's kind of attached to that plastic here. So I'm going to try to get it. Oh, uh, it's taped. That's why. Okay. So I will go ahead and put this kind of right in the front down here. Now, of course, cardinals, everybody associates them with the loss of a loved one. So these are absolutely perfect for grave saddles or grave pillows like this. I just put a little hot glue on the clip there and added that to the front there. That's perfect. Now we're at the point where I think I'm done. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna switch over so you can see as I put this up and show you from the front. Does that not look absolutely adorable? I love it. Okay, now I'm done. So I hope you learned something from this. I hope you got inspired by this. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Okay. Do a uh, you know, comment on here, whether you think I should have used a bow, um, whatever. I would love to hear from you. If you decide to do one on your own, let me know. I would love to hear it. So again, my name is Patty Davis. I'm with Crooked Tree Creations and I will see you guys later. I'm going to finish my mimosa and I will see you. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Mwah.